egg. Only perfect ones can stay. We paint each egg in a colorful way. We pack them snug and tight for Easter Day. Easter morning is almost here, a time of joy and cheer. We'll hide these eggs far and near. Easter is our favorite time of year. Gun. We did it again. You guys think last Easter was fabulous. This one's gonna rattle your whiskers. Work, work, work. Given a choice, I'd rather play, play, play. Okay, everyone. Ten minute carrot break. Everything seems to be hopping along in the factory. How are things up here? Getting down to the deadline. That's my boy. Pop! Mr. O'Hare said that we're so far ahead with production that the bunnies will be able to spend Easter with their families this year. That's right. I didn't, I didn't earn this button here just for being witty, handsome, sophisticated. When you're good, you're good. And when you're the best, you can't get better. Uh, Miss Fifi, am I really the only one in your life? <laughs> For the moment. Uh, Miss Fifi, when you were made personnel manager, your job specifically stated you were to keep the chickens happy. That's the trouble with happiness, big boy. You spread a little here, a little there, and before you know it, it's out of control. Control it. Force yourself. Listen, Furface, what the workers do on their carrot break is their business. Yeah, well, as Bunny Union Shop Steward, whatever my bunnies do is my business. Uh, can I say something? No! no. Uh-huh, right. Oh, yes, Mr. President, the, uh, shipment went out this morning. Special delivery. The White House lawn should be amply covered by Sunday morning. Well, thank you, sir. You're very kind. Uh, I'm wearing it as we speak right now, sir. Yeah. And happy Easter to you, too. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Work, work, work. Things are really hopping in there, huh? Production's at an all-time high. The workers are gonna be home for the holiday. There's even going to be a bonus in our pockets. I vote we'd spend the bonus in Miami. Why? So we can visit your brother at the dog track? One of these days, those dogs are going to catch him, you know. Okay, we'll visit my brothers in Australia. You promised, J.R. Can't you see I'm talking to the people? Easter wasn't always this easy, you know. Oh, they've already heard the story of how Easter almost didn't happen. And none of the kids in the world had Easter eggs when they woke up on Easter morning. And how the Easter egg factory almost...
almost went out of business, and Mr. Easter Bunny himself was almost run out of town. Do you know the story? Everyone knows the story. It made worldwide headlines. Exactly what I thought. What? Two kids, see them? Right over there, see them? They haven't heard the story. See, the ones that are waving. Over there, see? They missed it. They didn't buy the paper that day. Oh, uh, you might as well tell it. Go ahead, you love telling it. Go ahead, once upon a time. It doesn't start once upon a time. No? All right, then. How does it start? <clears throat> Ladies, ladies, I need your attention, girl. Watch your language, girls. We're in big trouble here. You know what is three days away, and we're short some 10,000 eggs. Oh, my. I didn't say you were laying down on the job. I said lay down on the job. Come on, girl, she's a clever. Let's go, Henrietta, put down that book. Come on, Madge, I'm counting on you. Easter Bunny, it's impossible. Even if we came up with the 10,000 eggs, my workers couldn't color them in time for Easter morning. Ah, uh, we just ran out of polka dots. Oh, yeah, but increase the workforce? How? Where am I gonna get rabbits? Out of a hat? Darling, we're very low on green. Oh, E.B., I don't think you're fully grasping the situation. I've got all my bunnies working, and are they upset? You might say I've got a bunch of hot cross buns on my hands. What we're dealing with is panic. Hey, you know the dunking machine? It just dunked out. Yeah, oh, thanks, Pops. Oh, E.B., we got major problems down here. You have to try something. You're supposed to be a magician. If there ever was a time for magic, it's now. You know my magic tricks never work. Is that any reason to quit? Your father needs you. If the kids don't have their Easter eggs on Sunday, he's finished. It's all over. Kids will never believe in the Easter Bunny again. You'll never be able to hold your ears up straight. Okay. Oh, mystical, magical, protector of magicians and rabbits, of which I happen to be both, let there be a great abundance of colorful, bright, Cheerful, exciting. Can we get on with it? Magnificent eggs of every color of the rainbow. <laughs> terrific. Really terrific. I tried. Honest. They are colorful. They're also small and not eggs. They're, they're kind of egg-shaped. Maybe if the kids don't look too close. Oh, I should have gone to Hollywood when I had the chance. But no, I sent my cousin Bugs instead. You know what he's got, huh? A condominium in Acapulco. You know what I got? Aggravation! Ah! Don't. Pfft. Oh, you, I, I tried that. I really did. You were a legend. And I, I knew when I took on the job that I could never follow in your paw prints. But... I managed for the past 10 years. Every, every Easter, we delivered. Not a kid was ever disappointed. But, what can I say? There's no excuse for failure. Sure, things are different today than when you were head rabbit. For one thing, the population exploded. More kids, more, more demand for eggs. You never had to deal with unions, government regulations, strikes, FDA approvals, carbon copies. You want to know what this is? This is a requisition order from Miss Fifi in triplicate. She wants a color TV for the barn so chickens can watch soap operas during the day. She claims the girls are cooped up. E.B., phone home. Oh, good. My wife's been calling every hour. Reporters have the house surrounded. Seems word leaked out that Easter isn't going to be celebrated this year. E.B., it just came over the radio. Although a spokesrabbit for Mr. Bunny has not confirmed the rumors, we at WEGG have it on good authority that all children will have to do without Easter eggs tomorrow morning. When told of the calamity, a spokesman for the White House said, and I quote, The President is very distressed at the news and joins the nation in offering Mr. Bunny his prayers for a speedy solution. We now return you to your regularly scheduled program.
Good, good. Now the media's in on it. I could see it now, JR. Easter Bunny blows holiday. Film at 11. Oh, say it isn't so, E.B. Oh. JR, how long have you been with this organization? Um, I don't know, uh, 200 years? I, uh, started in the mailroom, you know. Have we ever not delivered? No, sir! Even that terrible year when we had the flood and all our paints were ruined? We got the job done, didn't we? Yeah, and I never want to see another crayon again. And, and the time of the blizzard when we got snowed in? That was your finest hour, E.B. Oh, tell me about it. Who else would have thought to heat the eggs so they would melt the snow and the kids could find them? Trust me, the kids will have their eggs tomorrow. I knew you wouldn't let us down, sir. Right. It's okay, guys. E.B. says it's a go. Easter's on. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, so I lied. I couldn't break his heart. Oh, let's face it, Dad. I'm just not the great Easter Bunny you once were. Halabaloo. Kalamazoo. We need eggs. We do, we do. Hmm. Something is definitely wrong here. Maybe if they had music, maybe they'd need inspiration to lay more eggs. Well, big boy, I've tried everything from Bolero mm, to Old MacDonald had a fall. It only made them sleepy. Mm. Do they realize that if the egg factory goes under, they may wind up on somebody's plate, southern fried? Oh, what a terrible, horrible, cruel, oh, my aching heart, I feel so faint, oh, my. Is it really that serious, J.R.? Afraid so, Fifi. Ladies, ladies, wake up! What are you doing sleeping? Let's scramble! Come on, girls! Let's go now! I'm not leaving here till I see the Easter Bunny and ask him if it's true. Uh, no one has ever seen the Easter Bunny. Then I'll be the first. You said that about Santa Claus last year, and you fell asleep. I'm not moving from this spot. You ever stop to think that he's invisible? And even if you saw him, you wouldn't see him. The eggs won't be invisible. If I see a bunch of eggs come flying out, I'll know somebody is carrying them. And that someone has got to be you-know-who. And then what? We'll grab them. What do you mean, we? Yeah, things had never looked worse. Mr. O'Hare watched helplessly as his paint supply dwindled away. Easter Bunny's son did all he could, but try as he might, he kept coming up with, you guessed it, more jelly beads. E.B. got the ladies their color TV, but it didn't help production. And E.B. did a lot more than talk to the picture. I know you told me, Dad, that there'd be days like this, but I've had a whole month of them. To be the Easter Bunny, I had to pay my dues. I never thought it'd be so hard to fill my father's shoes. The pressures at the top were great. I knew this from the start. So very few appreciate the Easter Bunny's part. O'Hare, Miss Fifi, and the rest, they all depend on me. I guess I'll have to be the best Easter Bunny I can be. What will all my workers do? They don't deserve this fate. They'll have no other choice but to go into real estate. Sonny and JR could start a candy store, it seems. They'll make a bundle, if they're smart, from all these jelly beans. And then there is my darling wife. She won't like this too much. She'll hate to see me spend my life just hanging round the hutch. A rabbit's job can be a curse. I take a lot of ribbing, but my position could be worse. A turkey at Thanksgiving. Oh, guess it's back to work, work, work. Yeah, me. 
bridge, get me to coast. Hey, Swifty, oh here. Yeah, listen, we got a major production problem down here. Can you fly us out a couple of thousand chickens? We're down to one gallon of sunshine yellow. Oh, huh. figures. Huh? Ducks! No, I don't need ducks! I don't care if they're on special! I need chickens! Yeah, what, uh, yeah, but sir, that's exactly why I'm calling you. I mean, you are the manager of the world's largest supermarket chain. Surely you could spare a mere 10,000 eggs. Well, I realize it's Saturday night. No one realizes that better than I do. But if only you could... But, but all I need is a mere... Yeah, but... Yes, okay, right, yeah. yeah. Happy Easter to you, too. Oh. Gee, there's a guy in Chicago who says he can ship us 10,000 colored plastic eggs and have them here in two hours. Plastic? Plastic eggs for Easter? I hope you didn't hear that. Okay, okay. It's not the world's greatest idea, but, sir, this is an emergency. Yeah, well, JR, listen, do you know... Can you try to imagine how Miss Fifi and the ladies would feel if we replaced their their creative contribution with plastic? Yeah, oh. I guess there'd be a lot of squawking, huh? E.D., phone mom. Oh. With all respect, sir, times are changing. I heard that the elves in the North Pole have ordered a computer to keep tabs on who's naughty and nice. Yeah, well, don't forget, J.R., the elves got a government grant. Okay, okay. I'll tell the guy in Chicago to keep his plastic eggs. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, one other thing, sir. What? If your son keeps on creating jelly beans... <laughs> the kid's still at it? Well, right now, we have enough to feed half the world. Uh, send him in, send him in. And you go tell the workers not to panic. Everything's gonna be fine. Okay. Go ahead, go. I'll tell them, yeah. but I don't know if they'll believe me. It's okay. Oh, gotta call. My mother, I'll turn her call. Oh, hello, hello, mother. Yeah, it's me. What is it? More reporters, huh? Yeah, don't worry about them. Yeah. Well, listen, no, that's very nice of you. Listen, I appreciate you trying to help, but the dozen eggs that you've got in the refrigerator just aren't going to be enough. Yeah, don't worry, Mom. Everything's going to be fine. Right, goodbye. Oh. I know, I know. I'll have to tell them, eventually. Oh. You wanted to see me, Pop? Yeah, I did. Uh, son, listen. I don't want you to take this personally or anything, but uh, stop with the jelly beans. Hey, Maury, baby. It's Maurice. Yeah, sure. Listen, we're out of greens, yellow, and polka dots. What can you do for me? I am an artiste. I color the eggs. I do not make the paint. <laughs> Here's all I could get for colors from the ladies in the coop. Fourteen lipsticks, thirty-three blue eyeshadows, forty-eight purples, and a dozen bottles of nail polish. <laughs> Sacre bleu! We are in trouble now! Oh! Well, at least he tried. Sir! Uh, who's there? Just me and my friend. Can we talk to you for a moment? <laughs> Not now. I'm very busy. Maybe tomorrow if I'm still here. Do you know Mr. Easter Bunny? Uh, naturally, I talk to him every day, as a matter of fact. Is it true, what everyone is saying, that there won't be any eggs tomorrow? Of, of course not. Why, what would Easter be without eggs? Whoever heard of such nonsense? Now run along, kids. I'm not leaving till I hear it from Mr. Easter Bunny himself. Oh, come on, you heard the rabbit. Let's go. You wouldn't lie to a kid, would you? D I never have. Till, till just now. D Look, uh, everything you heard is true. There won't be enough colored eggs to go around tomorrow. I knew it. I knew it. That's the saddest thing I ever heard. But why? How could this happen? The, the law of supply and demand, physics, uh, it overwhelmed us. We simply ran out of eggs and colors. I bet my mother has two dozen eggs at home. D yeah, well, I bet she does. I know for sure we have at least a dozen. You want me to go get them? No, thanks. 
I'm afraid it wouldn't be enough. Look, I'm sorry now. I gotta go back. I'm due back at the hutch. So long. Oh, I'm never gonna believe in anything again. Hey, uh, hey kids, hold it. What is it? Are, uh, are all your friends like you? No, some are shorter. Yeah, and blonde. No, no, that's not what I mean. I mean, do they all have eggs at home? Sure, why? I've got an idea. Come here. Look, this is the plan. But you don't know anyone in South America. Exactly the point. I'm a failure at everything I do, so I'm going as far away as I can, so I won't ever bother anyone again. What will you do there? What I do best. Nothing. Is there anything I can say? Just goodbye. It sure was fun while it lasted. Yeah, I feel so bad for E.B. Mm -hmm. He's been talking to that picture again, you know. So where will you go, O'Hare? Well, Fief, I've got a job offer in Chicago at an egg factory. Mm. Plastic eggs. <laughs> Okay, gang, it's magic time. You don't have to pretend anymore, Chief. We are not doom and gloom when we see it. You should really try and cheer up a bit, you know. JR, Sonny, Miss Fifi, hop to it. What's up, Chief? Cops of us surrounded? Give it to me straight. I could take it. I can't. You know what the best part about being the Easter Bunny is? You don't have to live in the North Pole. Besides that, the best part is I get to make announcements like, I did it. No, 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 they did it. Well, no, actually, on the other hand, it should be, we did it. What is it? Our problems. Our problems are over. JR set up a press conference. We're going to make headlines. You canceled Easter! You have a very negative thought pattern, JR. Did I ever tell you that? I don't think you get enough carrot juice. Poor darling. He talked to that picture one time too many. No, no, no. Listen, tomorrow, every child in the land will have colored Easter eggs, and the holiday will be greater than ever. Applause, applause, applause. That was a cue. You're not paying attention. Okay, okay. How is this gonna happen? At last, a straight man. Because all the children in the land will color their own eggs. Is that brilliant or is that brilliant? Did I miss something? Try to follow this. Why is Easter so much fun? Is this multiple choice? We've been a very selfish lot. Every year, we've had all the fun coloring the eggs. This year, we're gonna share it. This year, the kids and their families will sit in their homes just like we do. They'll do it year after year. And thanks to my clever and talented son, they're going to get a bonus. Me? Did he mention me? Yeah, that's right. Because of his highly successful feats of magic, we have enough jelly beans to coat the entire world. And then some. That's right. Those jelly beans will be our way of saying thanks, kids. From this day on, when kids think of Easter, they'll think of colored eggs and jelly beans. I like it. I love it. I knew you could do it, E.B. I never doubted it. Well, neither did I. Well, actually, there was one moment there. It was a second, an instant. It passed quickly. Hold a phone with kids coloring eggs. Does that mean we're out of business? I knew it sounded too good. Not true. We're going to be busier than ever. Millions of kids are born every year, and they're too little to color their own eggs. In fact, if my calculations are right, and I never met a rabbit who couldn't multiply, we're going to have to expand production. Now let's get to work, work, work. And that's exactly what happened. We not only got bigger, we got better. The, well, Pop, the legend is intact. We got through another one, you know? Maybe there is something to the old expression, like father, like son. The president awarded Mr. Bunny a certificate and a button, proclaiming him number one. I got one, too. Actually, <laughs> I got it, too. Sonny went on to play Vegas and do his magic tricks, which included pulling a man out of a hat. But every year, he's still in charge of jelly beans. So when you sit down with your family, to color eggs, give a little thought to E.B., Miss Fifi, O'Hare, and the rest of the gang. Catch you later. I've got work to do. Happy Easter. Happy 